Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT surveillance multipurpose robots. So in this project, we are going to do the two input sensors like a metal sensor to detection of the metals and provide us the audible alerts and also obstacle detection. So whenever the robot is moving in forward motion, so if any obstacle presents, automatically we are going to stop in the uh, moment of this vehicle by controlling the L293 d motor driver. And also continuously we are going to get the visuals from this ESP32 camera to the mobile phone through the IoT using a, your browser. So from the browser we will get the visuals as well as at the same time we can control the vehicle movement forward back or left right and also headlights which is already present on the ESP32 camera. So here the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp battery which is rechargeable battery. So before on the gate very first step is you need to keep the battery under fully charged. So for that purpose connect the battery at this B slot and now on the power supply to the transformer so when we on that the battery is getting charged uh, we can see the LED indication and once the battery is fully charged automatically this charging circuit will block the current flow from the charger to the battery in order to protect the battery from overcharging because of this diodes presence in that manner so it will take six to eight hours to be fully charged so once the time completes you can have this one remember so it's based on the timing signal only so you need to charge a battery for at least six hours so once the time completes you can off the circuit one and the next is is the main on off switch back side of this robot so is the below is on above is the off so when we on this the 12 volts power supply is input to the two modules one is l293d uh, 12 volts has an operating voltage to the two dc motors which we are uh, used to movement of this robotic vehicle and the next 12 volts parallelly input to this LM2596 voltage regulator which will take 12 volts DC input and provide us the 5 volts constant DC output. So we are going to distributing that to the Arduino you know, ESP32 camera, SR04 ultrasonic sensor and metal sensor. So when we provide that 5 volts to this Arduino you know, and ESP32 camera, so ESP32 camera will connect to the uh, specified IP uh, hotspot so I'll tell you that so after connecting over there we need to access the ESP32 camera from the Google Chrome through the IP address once we uh, load the page we will get the control switches along with video so from the control switches when we provide the inputs ESP32 camera will inform the signal to the Arduino Uno board so Arduino Uno board will execute the conditions based on the conditions received from that one that is robots forward backward left right through the l293 motor driver means when we are providing command from the forward motion the command will be sent from the esp32 camera to the uno board and uno board to l293d l293d to dc motors so in this manner we are going to control in the robot movement and while it's moving in forward motion only if any obstacle is present then automatically we are going to switch off the power supply to the motors by stopping that but we can control the robot movement in remaining three directions if the obstacle detects so coming to the ultrasonic sensor module so it has the two modules one is a transmitter and there is a receiver so the transmitter will emit the ultrasonic sound waves if any obstacle is present in front of that the surface of the obstacle will reflect the those transmitter ultrasonic waves and that reflected waves will be received by this receiver module and then the controller will get a trigger based on the receiving of this uh, reflected waves means control trigger transmits then it will emit the waves if the receiver receives the signal till that the controller will uh, run the timer right so based on the receiving signal it will capture the time and as we know the speed of the sound then by multiplying the speed into time we will get the distance if the particular distance is less than the 30 centimeters then automatically the robot considering it as a obstacle detected then it will stop moon uh, stop the movement of the robot vehicle now let us see demonstration first step as we discussed discussed uh, keep the battery under fully charged and the next step is go to hotspot settings of your phone configure the hotspot name to project 5859 without any space without any capital letter password should be 12345678 ap band should be this band should be 2.4 gigahertz and save them and on the hotspots now on the kit there you can see one device is connected if it is not showing the device connected 
just restart the system again by off and on right now in your mobile phone it is showing the ip address so if it's not showing the ip address then you need to install the network analyzer application and then scan for the ip address of our esp32 camera just copy that ip address from there and paste in the google chrome refresh so we are getting the visuals directly and we can control the robot moment forward backward so while controlling the robot moment if you press and hold till that hold the robot will keep on execution of the uh, particular command release that it stops left right okay at the same time headlight so let us see on the floor right let us see that for what when the obstacle detects automatically it will stops over there so if we keep on providing the inputs the robot won't move in forward motion so backward Coming to the metal sensor, so that if any metal detects over there, we'll get the audible alerts on the metal sensor. Okay, remove this. Right. 